Mr. Corsi here. In this question, we're given a function, h of x, it's 3 cos 2x, and we're asked to differentiate it, that's what h dashed means, and then replace x by pi upon 6. So our first task then is differentiating 3 cos 2x. Let's have a look at the few rules that are involved in this. So we'll use this column for the function and this one for its derivative. That's what we get when we differentiate it. So what we do know is that when we differentiate cos x, we get negative sine x. Now unfortunately in this case it isn't the cosine of x, it's the cosine of something. That something happens to be 2x. Now this is an example of the chain rule where we would use the normal differentiation rule for cosine to give us negative sine, but because it's not x, we have to adjust by differentiating whatever's in there. If, if we say this is some little formula involving x in there, then we have to adjust this by differentiating whatever's pretending to be an x in there. So that's an example of the chain rule. So in this case, we would get negative sine 2x times, and what do we get when we differentiate this 2x? We get 2. So the adjustment in this case is 2. That's the chain rule differentiating cos 2x. Now, if we have a number at the front of a function, and when we differentiate that, that number just stays there. So if you've got double something, you differentiate it at normal and you've got double your answer. In this case, we've got 3 times cos 2x, so we will get 3 times whatever we get when we uh, differentiate cos 2x. So there's a lot of bits and pieces here. The 3 at the front times the 2 at the end give us 6. Negative, when you multiply, that will be a negative there, and we've got sine 2x. So gathering all the bits and pieces together, we end up with negative 6 sine 2x. Now we have to evaluate that when x is pi upon 6. And remember, you're in paper 1, so there's no calculators allowed. So it's negative 6 times the sine of twice pi upon 6. That's now the angle. And 2 times pi upon 6, we can cancel by 2, and we get pi upon 3. Now remember, pi radians is 180 degrees, a third of 180 is 60. So we're talking about a 60 degree angle. And the 60 degree angle comes from an equilateral triangle. Suppose the all sides were length 2, this would be 1. There's your 60 degree angle, pi up in 3 radians. So what is the sine of pi upon 3 radians? So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite is this side divided by hypotenuse. Now Pythagoras in this right angle triangle would be 2 squared minus 1 squared square rooted. That's 4 minus 1, that's 3. So this is the square root of 3. So the sine of pi upon 3, root 3 divided by 2. So there's one last little cancelling goes on. 2 into 2 is 1, 2 into 6 goes 3, so negative 3 there. So we'll get negative 3 root 3 as the value of h dashed of pi upon 6. So that's Mr. Corsi signing out, and thanks for watching this video.